Hey everyone, it is T and welcome back to the third episode of the Hardcore Iron Man series. I just wanted to come on here and say by no means is this guide the perfect guide. I don't think anything is perfect in RuneScape as there are so many things you can do. You do not have to follow this guide step by step. Sometimes it could just be good to be referenced to or maybe you're stuck and don't know what else to do. We have big plans for this account and I just wanted to share the journey with you guys. This next clip might surprise you, but we get through it. It took 12 hours, but we get through it. So enjoy the video and I'll see you on the next one. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Target eliminated. Okay, okay, okay. Before we get into what happened, let's recap last episode. We got the cloak for the clue hunter outfit. Started and finished Monk's Friend quest. We got 38 fire making and 35 wood cutting. We got 25 thieving. We started and finished Sheep Herder's quest. We started and finished Sea Slug quest and got 24 fishing. We got our first player at own house. We started and finished Daddy's home and got 10 construction. We started and finished Sheep Shearer and got level 2 crafting. We finished Rune Mysteries. We got the boots and gloves for the Clue Hunter outfit. We started the Dwarf Cannon quest. We started Alfred Grimhan Bark Crawl quest. Fuck, Bark Crawl. We started the Waterfall quest. And we got to level 10 agility. And we almost died. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe it. I wasn't paying attention. But thankfully, thankfully, hear me out, we haven't gone that far. I'm going to follow my own guide and get to this point and I'll be right back. Okay, the next few clips are before I died. Uh, I think I left you off at the gnome stronghold. Before you leave, go ahead and buy another bucket of milk and let's go. Head back to our doin and start and finish the Plague City quest. You'll get level 15 mining when you complete. You're going to start biohazard quest. At this point of the quest, you're also going to go to the wilderness for a diary task. Make sure to bring at least 10 cakes. I went through five because we are super weak at this point. While you're in Varrock for the biohazard quest, make sure you complete Gertrude's cat. You'll get 12 cooking. Head down to Draenor Village and we are going to start Agility. Do Agility until you reach level 30. You might be asking why level 30? So level 30 is when you can start doing the Varrock rooftop. And the Alcarid one doesn't really matter, so there's no point in going there at level 20. We ended the Agility course at 101 laps and we got 17 marks of grace, averaging about 1 mark every 6 laps. 200 coins? Yep. Yep. You're gonna buy 10 of these. Head back to Ardoin for 30 GP from Remington. Head to the northeast and get teleported into the Rune Essence Mine for the easy Ardoin Diary. Finish Biohazard and you will reach level 26 thieving. Head northwest into the combat training camp and just go through the gate and this is the very last step before the Arty Cloak. Talk to two pints and you got it, baby. Let's go. We got the Artie Cloak, bro. You know what happens next? I fucking die. <laughs> Look at me. I'm over here doing emotes, hoping that this was going to be my thumbnail. Maybe it still will be. I don't know. I really don't know. There you go. So we're heading back to Artie to thieve the silk stalls a little bit more to raise some money for the next step in our guide. Typically, you have the guards trapped into the building behind you. Uh, you can even see here, I bring my main out to do that. And someone opened the door when I went to the bank, and that's why the knight got out. So here I am with my new Iron Man account. Since I was rudely interrupted, you're going to want to thieve the silk and sell them until you have about 10,000 GP. And we are going to move on to finish Druid's Ritual to be able to have the Herblore skill unlocked. Head over to the east side of our doin into the mining area and you're going to want to safe spot a bear for his meat. While you're at the bank, go ahead and pull out your raw rat meat and teleport to Falador to make this a little faster. 
Head south to the farm and kill a chicken for its meat, then kill a cow for its meat. Head north to Taverly and we are going to start and finish Druid's Ritual. Use your grouping teleport to teleport back to Clan Wars and drink from the Pool of Refreshment. Set your inventory just like mine as we are headed to South of Castle Wars and we will be there for a long time chopping teak trees and getting our fire making level up. How would someone just leave that there? Ugh. Alright, so we're here and we're gonna be here for a while. We will be cutting teak trees and lighting the logs until we get to level 50 fire making. Don't forget to feed your puss, I mean cat, and stroke it every once in a while. I forgot to hit record, but use your already cloak and teleport to the monastery. And follow this route so we can turn in our kitty cat for some death runes. Use your chronicle and teleport back to Varrock and head to the bank, pick up 100 coins, and go get another cat from Gertrude. Also, get more food for your cat if you need to. Oh my gosh, it's a yellow cat. If you still need to reach level 50 fire making at this point, go ahead and teleport back to Clan Wars, back to Castle Wars, and back to the Teak Tree. Oof, alright, we are level 50 fire making also hit level 47 wood cutting while we're here. Use your Artie cloak and teleport back to Artie and head to the bank and this is what you're gonna pull out. You're gonna want to take a saw, some nails, a hammer, planks, and noted planks. And then you're gonna want to head to Remington and go into the build mode for your house. You're gonna want to build wooden chairs all the way till you're level 20. When you run out of an inventory, you're going to run back out of the portal and you will pay to unnote your planks so it's quick and easy and you just head back in and do the same thing over and over again. Once you hit level 20, you're going to head back to Port Serum and you're going to talk to Vios. You must know where we're headed to. <laughs> uh, Alright, so once you get here, we are going to dig up the next piece of the Clue Hunter outfit. All right, so it's right next to this tree, and now you have the garb for the Clue Hunter outfit. It's pretty obvious where this next episode is gonna go. We have four pieces of warm clothing, and we will head up north after this video to Winter Tot. Now, I wanna end this video saying that you do not have to do Winter Tot. You can do Temporis or any other money-making guide, but keep in mind you are 10 HP. I personally don't mind Winter Tot. I don't think it's a terrible mini game, but some do. So this is your time to figure out what money-making guide you want to do. We just need to raise 200,000 GP. From now on, you should have your kitten following you. Always make sure you have some food with you so you can feed it and make sure you often stroke your cat to keep it happy. And if you don't know, we are gonna trade your fully grown cat for some death runes later. We died, we came back, it only took us 12 hours to make a new account and get back to where we were. Thanks for sticking around guys, this is gonna be a pretty short video. I am exhausted after catching up, but I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and peace.